So welcome to this small presentation of the Perfect Circle app, which is available at the following URL. I'm showing this by a video block instead of ordinary typing because I think it's easier to see what happens here. So here's the front page, the landing page of the Shiny app. And the first thing you need to do is to select an image which you want to analyze. So I'll take a local image here and I will open it uh, and upload it. And then as a new feature, an important is that it's possible to scale how at which rich resolution you want to work with the image. For what we want to do now is to identify the seed points. We will reduce the uh, resolution in order to be able to quicker work with the image. So we change now to the seed points. It will take a while to compute and display the image. And here you see the seed point uh, here you see the image and you want to place some seed points and it will be shown at a 25% scaled resolution uh, but with the original pixel scales as is. As you can see here below you have three options. You can add circle points, you can add background points or you can delete points. So uh, since or you can also just upload a CSV file with all this information. So what you can do is now let's add some circle points for the analysis first point always takes a bit of time to display the image again it's not super fast so this is why it's important to to do this at a reduced scale you can always scale it back later on then we will try to add some background points one background point here one background point here and this should actually already be sufficient to start we could now save uh, the the points if we want to download them in a CSV file, which we could use uh, for later. But we can also just simply test if things are working already by simply hitting the go. It will take a small computation. And here you get your circularity score, 95.47%. It will depend a bit on the resolution, I have to say. But the deviations are marginal. Uh, so what you can see here is in pink the perfect circle fitted and in black you see the circle extracted from the figure. So you see here, here there is some uh, discrepancy between the perfect circle and here the drawing wasn't so perfect. Here it looks rather nicely but here and here there's some shortcoming and it's not really circular shaped so you get the 95.47. Not perfect but not that bad. If you want to study, you can look a bit more in the details about sort of where the background, how it was identified, how the foreground was identified. Sometimes this can be helpful, to, for example, to add extra seed points. And you could, of course, also, uh, now you're sort of certain that things are okay, you can download uh, your CSV file for later computation if you want to. Okay, that's the uh, small app I programmed. You can get more information about how to use it. That, that there's an R package called Perfect Circle to do the, the API computation part, but also contains the Shiny app. So you can use this to organize your own world championship in freehand circle drawing. Uh, there's information how to use the app and so on. And all of this is based on a blog article, Judging Freehand Circle Drawing Competition. Uh, which I wrote here. Uh, it, this is my blog, Theory Meets Practice. Uh, if you're interested in, uh, there's all the, the mathematical the details. The image rectification part is not part of the app at the moment. So you have to start with a rectified image. And these are the steps which are uh, sort of uh, hidden in the app. What it does interactively, does a totally squares, uh, fitting and so on and so on. So if you want to read the details, you can check it out here or you can simply fit some extra circles. Enjoy!